Auntie. All right. No fans. Lumber. Yeah. Okay, it's all doing the fashion. Read up on military strategy. You decide to test out this new knowledge next time you're on the battle next battlefield. Oh, just as you leave the library, you hear a huge commotion going on outside the dormitories. What the? You run towards the direction of noise. When you find the source, you see heroes clumped together and throwing punches. It looks like a fight broke out. I found on the outside, trying to pull heroes off each other. Stop it, all of you. You and Alphon try to calm things down, but then the fool's voice booms throughout the hall. Enough! Everyone directs their attention to the direction of the voice. A man towers over the crowd, and his stare brings everyone to silence. He mutters toward you and Alphonse. Some heroes flee the scene while others shuffle out of the way. Glance at Alphonse. He stares wide-eyed at the man. Father. Father? Look back at the man and see the family resemblance. Okay, this game was like made before um uh they released um what Alphonse Water looked like. Looks like this. Put your on screen. I understand the one like you guys like had to like made up what he would look like. King Gustav? Alphonse nods and Gustav stands right in front of both of you. Alphonse. <laughs> it was tense, so it. Father, what brings you here? The royal knights and I had to retreat from Yusbel. I came here personally to speak with the commander about the order's next move. I see. So you don't want her to yell at me this time. Gustav walks past you and Alphonse, not before uttering one last remark. I knew all along that joining the order was unwise. What the hell? There's no way you'd let him get away from with that. Even he's at the King of Asgar. So, maybe it would be best to keep your mouth shut. You don't know how the dire consequence would be if you were to talk back at him. I should probably not say anything, because he, he, I don't want to uh, put more like pressure on Alphonse. You and Alphonse stay silent as Gustav leaves the hall. He looks at Alphonse. He stands stiff with his head to the ground. He lays a hand on the shoulder. You have no, no idea what to say to him. The little shoulder pat ends up more awkward than intended. I'm sorry. To view, I'll leave the hall out a word. No stat change. That was invading. Mm. Passion. Oh, I just really thought it was like Morgan in the background. Uh, nap time. Come on, Alphonse. December. Ooh, my faction like halfway. Am I supposed to go the full way? Ooh, three compassion. It's almost time for the Winter Festival, and even walking around through the lo and even walking through the local marketplace, shopping for gifts for Anna, Alphonse, Fiora, and Trina. Found easy to shop for the girls. Sack of gold for Anna, a cute haircut for Serena, and a pair of stockings patterned with snowflakes for snowflakes for Fiora. All be cute. Alphonse gift for some reason has you stumped. One long browse through the marketplace later, you narrow your choice but down to two potential gifts. A textbook with a comprehensive history of every world discovered so far, and a light wood sword that's said to easily cut through steel. Which one did you get? I feel like he would like books more. Oh well, look at I I think it's a cipher card of him like like reading like reading surrounded by books. So I feel like that'll be good. Good intelligence. You offer your money to a merchant, and he hands you the, the book. It feels heavy in your hands, but that's to be expected. The Winter Festival rolls around, and you and Alphonse 
You've, uh, you, you find Alphonse sitting in the library. You hide the gift behind your back and approach him. Alphonse. Ah, oh, Kieran. Do you need something? Present the gift to Alphonse. Happy Wonder Festival, Alphonse. Oh, Kieran. We didn't need to do that. Oh, I'm so happy. But I do appreciate it. Thank you. He wraps the gift and goes it over. A comprehensive history of all worlds, 5th edition. Alphonse comes through the book and smiles wide. This is amazing. What a wonderful gift. Thank you so much, Karen. You're welcome, Alphonse. See, hey, how about we read together? I'm sure we both could benefit from this. We could just snuggle off to each other. Sure. We and Alphonse spend the rest of the afternoon reading and studying together. Where can increase? Where would you like to go? Uh, go some cleaning. And then... Oh, I should... Take a nap. Alright, let's go. January. Okay, I'm gonna work on intelligence and charisma. A new, year, a new year comes to the world of Zenith. Sharon are organized a party to celebrate. You discuss the facilities. Uh, you're enjoying the festivities with Alphonse and Matthew as you discuss resolutions for the upcoming year. I'll be working toward being a strong leader, both for my kingdom and the order of heroes. I want to become someone my people I can, I can depend on. How about you, Matthew? I want to continue serving my superiors well. The order of heroes, Lord Hector, back in Ost. Ostia, anyone. I want to keep doing my best for them and the greater good. How about you, Karen? Uh, okay. A lot of choices. Um, be brave and strong and your loved one. Be a hero. Be a leader at the order of heroes with love and respect. Gain more knowledge. But the military strategy, uh, be a more kind and caring person. Uh, let's see. I guess more knowledge. Ooh. Not a bad goal at all. If you need any help with that, let me know. I don't mind doing a study session or two myself. Magic re reassurance boosts your confidence in achieving your goal. <laughs> Get some magic uh, affection. Uh, Let's see. And then library. Okay, battle time. Uh, fonts. Ooh, I guess it's over now. It's been a year since you've been summoned to Asgard. As you spent time with these heroes, that my mouse in the way, your heart's yearns to be with the one of them. Uh, uh, one question remains. Do any of your, their hearts desire you as well? Kirin, who, who is the one you choose? Alphonse. Ah, Kirin, do you need something? Alphonse, I... I love you. I'm so in love with you. I just don't know what to do with myself. Karen. I'm so glad I feel the same way. I've... I've loved you the moment I laid my eyes on you. Always, Karen. I was afraid. Afraid of rejection. Afraid of getting close to you almost eventually lose you. But now, I'm overjoyed to have you here with me. Please, promise to stay by my side. In return... I promise to make you happy for the rest of your days. Oh, I'm so cute together. Alphonse, good and achieved. Congrats. Uh, I'll do a save, because why not? Congrats. And then, okay, the credits. Writing art, uh, PK Lucky. And then audio. Here run P. So yeah, that was Alpha on Root. Um, I honestly had so much fun just, like, reading through it. Although, it gets a little, like, I was, like, like all of dating, even, like, you get just, like, in a hat, like, a hat, like, oh, okay, just increase your stats, like, one by one. But I love, like, little stories of, like, the little, like, events, like, for, like, months. 
And it's so cute. It's like, oh, it's like, like, you know, like, for, like, what was it? The Christmas one, that was really cute, like, buying gifts. I should, I should, like, really play again and then, like, focus on, like, Matthew next so I can see what his side of the story is. Thanks for watching the end of Alphonse Root. See you in the next one. Bye.